Hello, survivors of the apocalypse. Welcome back to Atom RPG and playing hardball. We are in the bunker of the mountain pass of Woos and we found a lot of nasty things. Beastly critters, pests and blood roots, which were very dangerous, especially for our poor Julba. And I would like to thank NXC1974 for the rapid response. Um, because there is this this uh, safe somewhere. Where was it? Not there. We had a safe that we couldn't uh, couldn't open. Where's it? Show yourself. Unopened safe. Yeah, no, that's just the regular apartments there. Also regular apartment. Ah, ah, there, here, there. That's where we need to go. So, following our guy. I mean, there are often uh, codes written on the wall. Yeah, well, and the thing is, I should have paid more attention what we found here in this room, like being here immediately, but uh, so let's see. We do have this one here. Well, oh no, no sorry. So many thanks to NXC 1974. So the, uh, sorry, the, the dog picture, that's the thing. So um, he said the dog picture. I actually just thought, oh well, that's Tobik, November 1984. Let's try this one. Oh, wrong. Sorry, NXC 1974. I wanted to award you the silver medal of Rapid Heroes Help. Or the hero's rapid help. Well, looks like you have to give back that medal, buddy. Um, so what else could it be? So it's not the coach with the dog. Could it be like in reverse, maybe? Like this? No. Or like, like completely from the last digit, that would be five, uh, eight, and then eleven, like so. No. Mm. What do we have? Is this? No. So I thought the guy there was there was some form of I uh, here before changing the entrance code for the locker. Looked at Tobik's picture. I miss you so much, buddy. Oh no, but that's not the one. This is not a locker, but a safe. What's this? The young magician asked three guests to visit his parlor. First came his younger brother along with the faithful Mud. Second was charming sisters. Old father bearing a huge walking stick came last. So we found a lot of tarot cards. Maybe it's this one here. First the younger brother along with the faithful Mud. Ah, I think this is probably for, for a number of things, but well, we lockpicked a lot. Second was his charming sister. This could be the queen. How many, what kind of tarot cards did we get? Tarot the fool. The fool has number zero. This is the magician. The magician has number one. The empress is number three. The devil has number 15. Scary thing. And that's all the, oh no, and then we've got the hermit here. That's number nine, the hermit. So that means... The young magician. First came his younger brother. 
Well, we don't know who's the younger brother. And we don't know the faithful much. Second was his charming sister, so the queen, old father, bearing a huge walking stick came last. Old father? Who's the old father? Maybe the devil? Empress, the fool, the devil? And the hermit. Ah, the, the hermit could be the old father. So the hermit is nine. Hmm. That would mean... Um... Hermit. Nine. I need to write this one down. So, again. So, what's this here? So, younger brother. I mean, there's an order, of course. Younger brother, then faithful mud. And I mean, this, the mud is evidently the dog, maybe. Second was his charming sister. So if the sister is the queen and then the old father, if that's the hermit, bearing a huge walking stick, that is actually, well, he does have the old, uh, the, the walking stick. So the old father is the nine. The sister, it's the only female. So then the sister, that must be number three. The Empress, female, sign female. Before that was the Faithful Mud. Well, I mean, we didn't get any tarot cards. Maybe this is meant as the Fool. Or the Younger Brother is the, is the Fool, maybe. Zero. <coughs> Excuse me, just a little sneeze. Um, hmm. Well, that is a bit weird. Well, and the magician is first. The magician invited them. Ah, he invited three guests, so maybe that's just we can ignore the much. So this is one. Then it would be one zero three nine. Let's try that. One zero. Three, nine, nine. No. Okay. That's not the right thing then. What's that again? There was anything here with the, not a joke, Major Verbitsky? No. We were made into fools, Jura, the day when, according to our captors, the Third World War started, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no. Yada, yada, yada. Nothing here. Benefactor. Krotov. No. Conditioning, no. Crumpled note. Can't stop the prophecy by killing the prophet. No. Soviet monsters, but no devil. Where's it go? And they told us we stopped receiving communication, blah, 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 yada, 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 no, no, no. Well, the love letter, maybe, thoughts on collectivism, it's that I are there, well. Then here, love sunshine, love gentle breeze, and so on and so on, nice, but doesn't seem to be uh, connected. Carefully written letter, Bidrutenko. Um old deck of cards but the old deck of cards is not necessarily the uh, the tarot cards yeah then the death in metal corporal Likachov. no ah oh there was something there was something the tempter walks in the footsteps of the old man oh that is all i need is to crack the cipher what 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 
Today's demonstration at the bunker exit was violent, dispersed by only one man, Corporal Likachov. Contrary to all the rules, he used the experimental Vitinsky rifle. I don't know what to say. Screams shuffling of the agonizing, torn bodies on the floor, wet from blood, the carnivorous hiss of the armor piercing bullets. This instrument of death, death, this weapon should never have been made. That's why I stole Likachov's code. Wrote it down from a reminder that he kept in his desk. When you will return from the slaughter and lock that diabolical weapon back in the safe, I will seal it. Ah, we are in the right place, guys. I will dismantle it, break it, grind it up into dust, throw it in the acid tank that Sokolsky once mentioned. All I need is to crack the cipher. The tempter, that's the devil. Let me write that down. So it's the devil. The tempter walks in the footsteps of the old man. That's also in order. Who's trying to catch his careless, you, careless youth? That sounds like the fool. Or oh, that would also make up four digits. Okay, I think we've got it. So the tempter walks in the footsteps of the old man. That was 15, right? So it's basically the devil. Yeah, the devil is last. So it's old man, the hermit and the fool. Fool is first. He's trying to catch his careless youth. So, yeah, it's like from back to uh, to the first position. So that means the fool is number zero, if I remember correctly. Yes, so the fool should be the first one, the first number. Then the devil. You know, the old man is in the middle. That's the hermit, that's nine. And the devil was 15, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, 15. So it should be 0, 9, 15. Let's try that. 0, 9, 15. Yes, guys, yes. V.E.R. Vitinsky's experimental rifle, the ultimate weapon of the pre-war motherland, developed by the legendary gunsmith from Yaroslav Labs. Accuracy penalty 10, critical chance 50%, no handicap for fighting in darkness. 15 to 40, wow. And it has this tungsten. Yeah, that is rather... Uh, yeah. Well. Rounds per burst 3. Now that is an impressive weapon. Fidel, you get it? Oh, what's that? The Vitinsky rifle. You found it at last. We got the achievement. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. And do we have any more ammo? We do have seven and then nine. Ah, uh, seven. Okay, well. Already got one magazine. Oh, and Fidel is actually encumbered now. Oh, 11.5 kilograms. So this is like more than a, more something like a sniper rifle, huh? But that shoots bursts. Oh, and strength eight now. Well, that is actually not ideal. Mm. But well, Fidel. Fidel is the only one who can really profit from this, so let's give it to him, like so. And then Fidel. We do have a number of shots, but only few. 15 to 40. In comparison, this one here has 11 to 17. Yeah, so this should take off the head, like one burst should be should equal a kill i guess yeah let's hold on to it for a really nasty fight for someone really nasty or something really nasty so but i'm glad that we did that but still thanks to nxc 1974 for trying this one so we've solved the riddle um, and now let's get back to the to the lab that was here clicking tab we're just following our guys i will actually we might even want to let's stay here in the good light i wanna i wanna see the weapon let's have a look fidel give it here please and then oh yeah well
Well, it does look like a modern weapon for sure. Yeah, yeah. So it's 1937. Yeah, we lock picked everything. Oh, there's another one. Oh yeah, and we walked from here to there, right? Uh, let's shoot them. Let's shoot them there. Quick saving. Aiming for the eyes and nice. Silent death. Reloading. Oh, we can't go there. Okay, then let's go here. Okay. Oh, it's completely grown over. Ah, okay. Well, I guess we can shoot the other one from behind the the growth here as well, right? No, we can't. What a pity. And if it moves, ah, oh yeah. No, okay, no chance to hit it, but it's fine. So let's go here. There is someone there. We check this one here. That's something. No, it's just the the chair. Okay. Let's check this one. Well, something escaped here. Something surely escaped. We shoot through the door. Yes. Aiming for the eyes and nice. Or, or rather not so nice. Well um we need to stay clear of this pest. Joba. Be defensive, you stay back. Boy, stay back. Stay behind there. And well actually let's not reload, but we are shooting an aim short at this one. Can we shoot this one here? Oh, there's even nothing there. Well then, let's do an aim shot into the eyes again. Okay, 27. Oh, and... No, they are messing up Alexander. Well... Well, Nexogen is on the way, but we can shoot this one here for 11. Yeah, so let's finish this one off. Total waste. But let's do a, a regular shot. It's a bit sad that there is no cone there. But, uh, can we shoot the pest? Yes, we can. That's excellent. So let's shoot. I can actually shoot the pest. Oh, it has also eyes or something. Good. So done and gone. Oh my goodness. Uh, has Alexander ever been on the floor? Now they are really eating him. But I noticed that they are actually not sucking. Oh yeah, nice shot. Nice burst there. I noticed that they are not uh, sucking the lifeblood out of him and healing themselves. That was only something that happened with Joel Bar. Actually, let me shoot this one. Could we then, then we've got six shots left. Oh, well, but we can shoot one single shot. Oh no, we can aim, aim for the eyes as well. So they are taking in the eyes. Good. Oh, there's another one. Um. Let's firstly get out of the way. Now we've got nine. Yeah. Let's do another. Um, now let's have a burst, maybe. Huh? Yeah, let's burst. Okay. I expected a bit more. But well. Going out of the way, ending the turn. Come on, guys, finish it off. Good. 
Good shooting, Fidel. Julba got a new level, excellent. Saving the game. Julba, boy, good boy. Good doggy. So what do should what should we do? We give him stealth. Yeah. I guess there's actually nothing happening there, but well. So here are ah, only one point. Yeah, we were we are getting the crit damage, I think. Um Chance to ignore armor, chance to ignore armor on first blood, knockdown of running enemy. I actually I've I haven't seen anybody running from us in a long time, even though we are using the tiger machete. Double damage if the enemy is almost dead. Put a grass. Oh yeah, here this one. Yeah, so I, I guess we are taking this one next. So the, the crit damage is nice, but uh, I think the AP cost, that's way, way better. Yeah, okay. Loading this one. Reload. And then let's see what they have. Fidel. You guys are all over encumbered already. Yeah. Lots of plant meat. Plant based meat. Well, let's firstly check this person and also, well, there's nothing here, it's just the overgrowth. Someone there has met. Oh, yeah, stimulants. Oh, well, nothing really of interest. This guy. But we can take the salt, yeah, and why not the battery? So, so the, the, the helmet doesn't have the cover. But, well. Not even a broken cover. It's the blood root, so it's basically as if we are eating tofu, I guess. The form of tofu that these uh, monsters are made of the blood roots yeah let's now uh, let's check yeah this here is this is a closed one let's go here first Oh, there's a computer console we can interact with. Extract of Turbina Corimbosa. A flask containing a half liter of pink fluid. We can't drink it. And this one we can also not drink. Salvia Sclarea, a half liter bottle of an oily purple substance. What could that mean? Well, we could possibly put it here, huh? Oh, lots of stimulants. Well, let's do that. Oh, we can open the lock. Okay, then. So let's have a look here at the console. We blow away the dust that covered the screen of the strange contraption that looks like a huge frame with buttons and various lab equipment attached to manipulator arms that lie dormant on the other side of the glass. The device starts up. Welcome to the interface of the experimental portative mechanized laboratory Esculap. Please insert any three samples into the slots. Oh, a square opening is now seen in the metal frame of the device. Any three? So we need to find some, something else, huh? Let's back away. Saving, I'm just trying this one now. 
Let's put the purple liquid into the opening. We carefully pour the oily liquid into the opening. A red lamp lights up in the corner of the display. New message reads, sample taken. Ah, so we need to find the third one. We can't do anything else. Put the pink liquid. Carefully put the pink liquid into the opening. A yellowed lamp lights up in the corner of the display. New message reads, sample taken. Back away from the advice. Okay, well. Let's firstly find the the third one before we do anything there. And then we'll see. Then we'll see further. So, by looking at the time, I think we are actually going to end the episode here. Um, there is a person, or rather a person's remains there. There is another monster there, the beetroot, uh, the blood root. And we need to go here, in here. And to have an overview, let's have a look at the minimap. We are here, okay. And yeah, we came around there, all right. And the round one. So we're actually coming from behind. That's actually not so bad. Like there. And we do remember that I think that there was a person hanging through the window here, right? With the AK there. Yeah, so that's that. All right. So, well, that was actually quite interesting. We, need, we uh, solved a grand riddle, got Possibly the best rifle in the game there, the Vitinsky experimental rifle that uses this rather rare ammo, the original 649 cartridge with the tungsten carbide core. I mean, do have a lot of uh, some sh shots of these, not too many though. Um, so let's rather not waste them on anything that is not like a super monster or something. And yeah, we'll see. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this episode. And we are continuing the next one. Um, let's step into the light so we can see ourselves a little bit better. Yeah, and if you have any thoughts, comments, tips and tricks to share, please do so in the comment section. You know you're always welcome. Many thanks again for NXC 1974 for trying to give the right answer. You know, the, you know, the motivation is... Uh, as important well or nearly as important let's put it like that nearly as important as having the right answer then um yeah thanks for the participation and well i hope you liked this episode if you did please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel to never ever miss an episode again see you next time bye bye